you again this morning? Uh, I'm good. You're good. Okay. And uh, what did you do before our class? Um, I I go to Google to check. Uh, I have a poem, but I just I do uh I read a poem. It's not good. It's <laughs> not better. It's not better, but did you try your best to find for a poem? Yes. Okay, so maybe how many poems did you find? Uh, uh I just find one. All right, you just find one. Oh, you just found one. All right. <clears throat> so I think can yesterday I asked you to. I asked you to read an English poem and share it in our class this morning, right? Yes. Okay, so can, maybe you can read your poem now. Okay, teacher. Uh, wait, may I go to check? Uh, okay. Not more. Okay. Okay, Dita. All right. So, what's the title of the poem? Uh, at the beach. At the beach. Very good. So now, can you read your homework? Uh, looking at the photograph is somehow not um well. My friend to did to that did. One loud on T sells his white t shirt and is right screen for virus for the virus which in uh in as single swimming peso uh sad sad with uh ser serrated fines and no none. No um span I'm on chain. <laughs> is that your a poem at the beach? It's very, yes, very, it, this is very uh, boring. Uh, I choose the this one because it have virut. It have virut. Oh, it has very rude. Yes. Okay, very good. Is it hard to look for a poem? Hmm? Is it hard to find for a poem? Yes. <laughs> yes, but thank you so much for your homework. At least you have now one poem, right? Because you said before that you never tried to read a poem, right? Is this your first time to read a poem? Yes. Okay, and now we will talk more about... <clears throat> We'll talk more about um, poems in our lesson, okay? So I will share you now my screen, Ken, and then we will talk or we will continue our lesson yesterday, okay? Can you see my screen here? Yes. Okay, so yesterday we are talking about visualize, okay? Okay. And when we say visualize, it's like you are imagining things in your mind. For example, you said a beach or you talk about beach and then you are thinking about the beach. You are imagining the things that you can see in the beach like it was sunny and the waves are big. The sun is mm. shining, right? The white it's sand, right? So it means it's like a visualization. It means you are imagining or picturing the word in your mind. Okay, for example, I will tell you amusement park. 
Mm -hmm. What can you see in your mind or what uh, what do you think of amusement park? Mm. If uh, I tell you the word amusement park. Uh, what made the, um, the, the internet have problems? Can you speak again? Oh, I am asking if, what if I asked you about amusement park? Mm. What can um, you say about amusement park? Um, if you heard the amusement park. You don't know what no, it's amusement because park? Yes, because in my house. All right. In your place, you don't have an amusement park. This is an example of amusement park. I think I can show you some. Museum. All right. This one. Okay. This yes, is an amusement park. Yes. yes. But, but in my place not have. Uh, but but in Buntao have. Oh, in Buntao have. Have you tried to go in amusement park? Yes. Is it fun? No. No? It's not fun? <laughs> COVID. <laughs> All right, because of COVID-19. But... Before we don't have a COVID, it's a it's very fun to go to some amusement park, okay? And now, Ken, we are going to read a poem here, okay? So this is a haiku poem. We are going to learn about a haiku poem later on, okay? okay. So, uh, can you read the poem here? Mm. Snow falls to the ground, about an egg cover. Red in white winter time is here. All right. So kindly tell me what are the three things you can see in this in this poem. I can see number one. I can see. What can you see on this uh, poem? Mm, I can see anything. You can see anything. What are those anything can? Mm. What are those anything? I don't know that. Anything. Okay, just look at this picture first. Okay, wait. All right, what can you see on this poem? Can you tell me? I can see what? I can see, for example, I can see snowfalls, right? Yes. Okay, even if you cannot see it, if you read it, you can imagine it, right? How about number two? What else aside from snowfall? I don't know. Look at the second sentence, Ken. I can Here. see. You can see my screen? Yes. Oh, but you have read it a while ago. Yes. Oh, the, um, first, I can say... Uh, a snow, snow. yes. Number two, what else aside from snow? I can see a mountain. Very good. You can see a mountains. And next we have number three. I can see the winter. All right, winter time. So you imagine what's in the poem, okay? Next one we have here. Um, Words in the context, we're going to find the following words later on. We have observe, imagine, describe, and exact. So we are going to find... Okay. So now we will move on to letter F. Can you read the question in letter F, Ken? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. All right. So I want you to read the question in letter F and we're going to answer it. Okay. Oh, letter F. Why is it important to not to not chase things around you when you watch pet train? All right. Why is it important? To notice things around you when you write a poetry or when you write a poem. 
Why do we need to look around us? Why do we need to observe everything? Mm. Mm. Uh, for example, here in this poem, right? Yeah. The poet observed the things like he observed the snow is falling on the ground. He observed or he, he saw that the mountains are covered in white and he saw that the winter time is here, right? So it's yeah. very important because you can write a good poem when you notice things around you, okay? Okay. And now we are going to learn about how to be a poet. Do you want to be a poet then? Mm, no, teacher. No. All right. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be in. Uh, I don't know. You get us so small. I don't know. You don't know yet. Yeah, okay. All right. So here, you can be a poet. All right. So poets means. When we say poets, who are this one again? Poet. Mm. But it writes about the world as by why it's um it's like um uh -huh. all right poets write about the world in a special way okay they want to share the it's beauty like, it's like uh, uh who is make a poem yes very good who makes poem? We call them poets. Okay. And you can be a poet too. No. Uh, do I you believe like. you don't like? <laughs> you can be a poet too. Just remember the three things here. All right. Number one, how to be a good poet? You need to observe things carefully. Okay. Look around you carefully. And you're going to observe. And when you were going to school last time, what did you see? Many poets write about the things they see around them. Okay, so now, can for example, um, before you are going to school, right? What are the things that you notice, or what did you observe when you go to school? Do you remember? No, teacher. No. Okay, how about when you go outside your house? What can you see? Mm, I can see a uh, dog. <laughs> you can see your dog? And? Yes. Uh, and uh, maybe, maybe you can say, I can see my dog barking. Right? Yeah, but okay. pee, my dog pee. Oh, your dog pee. Okay. I don't let my dog. Uh, why? Because it's always being. Yes. Uh, small. Uh, but they have no to go some uh somewhere to be. But the small dog is not uh is is like uh they stupid. Uh, yes, because there's. Is stupid. Okay, maybe because they're still so small, right? They don't know yet where are they going to be. No, and like, but but uh, the big dog is uh is so uh in 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 four months ah uh, no just two months they know to have go go somewhere to pee. <laughs> All right, your dogs before knew how to pee even if they're still two months old, right? But now Ooh, your dogs doesn't know. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's move on. All right, let's move on to number two. Okay, can you read number two now? All right, hello, Ken. Okay, hello, Ken. All right. So that is a good poet number one. You need to look 
around you. Submitted. You need to notice everything. Okay, or observe things carefully. Teacher, hey, can you wait me um, one minute? Um, yes, can you wait one, me for a minute? One minute. Okay. Hello, teacher. All right, you're okay. <laughs> I go to I go I I go to ring a uh, a water. All right, you drank a water, okay? Is that a water? Is a juice? Oh, it's a juice. I don't like right. juice. My mom do. My mom do have a. Is have a lot of uh. Mm, Okay. Can wait a moment, okay? I'll just get my water also. Okay, can you wait for a moment? Yes. Okay. Of course. My mom uh, go have a lot of vegetable in the juice, so it's not the way. Hi, all right, I'm back. Okay, Yo, you, you are saying a while ago that you drank juice. Your, you don't want to drink juice, but your mom wants you to drink it. Yes. <laughs> Maybe because it will help you to become stronger and become smarter, right? No, it's, uh, it's healthy. It's healthy, yes, it's good for your health. That's why you need to listen to your mom. Okay, so now can, all right, can you still see my screen here? Yes. Okay, number two, or oh, the number, the first one, you need to observe things carefully, okay? Like your dog, you observe that your small dog doesn't know how to pee, right? Okay, and the next one, can you read number two? A good poet has a good, it make uh, imagination mm -hmm. when you imagine you create something in your mind then when you write about it other can enjoy your imagination too All right. can you say imagine here this word imagine uh, imagine this Ima one is Imagine too. Um, yes, imagine and imagination. Okay. Yes. All right. So, for example, Ken, you are imagining or you are imagining that your dog um, is playing with a small dog and you are imagining that your dog is flying. Do you think the dog can fly? Okay. 
I think yes. The dog can fly. Yes. <laughs> if so, they have uh, in in uh, in Hollywood, they can fly. In Hollywood, su- they can su- fly. Superman, Superman, Superman dog. Oh yes, the super dog. Have you watched it? Yes. Yes, it's me too. Funny. It's yes, it's very funny. Okay, the dog has also the cape, right? It's like a cape, and then they yes. can fly, right? So that is what we call imagination, right? So maybe the pe- the person who make or who made that movie has a good imagination because he imagined that the dogs can fly too, right? So if you if you want to be a good poet, you need to have um, a good imagination. Okay. All right, number three. Okay, number three. A good poet knows how to describe things. Okay. How does something look, smell, or feel? Does it make a sound? Writing about things can make a poem interesting. Okay, so if you want to be a good poet, okay. <laughs> can you hear? Yes, what a chicken? Is that a chicken? Yes, a chicken. Go to my home and. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the chicken went inside your house and maybe they are trying to shoo it, right? They're trying uh, to. My- uh, my my home is hard to uh, find a children because they uh, it's like they uh, mm. oh your house ah. has five children oh it's they are uh, take care of children uh, chicken in in uh, in, uh, in, in behind my house all right chicks. Take care of the chicken. All right. Yes, chicken is the big hen, right? But yes. we call the little chicken as chicks, okay? All right. So now, Ken, in number three, it says that a good poet knows how to describe things, okay? For example, right, for example, this poem, snow falls to the ground, mountains are covered in white, winter time is here, right? So he is yes. describing things. And another poem, all right, for example, we have the poem last time, okay? Where is the poem? Okay, this one, a bed in summer, right? I'll show you an example here on how to describe things. All right, this one. The bird's still hopping on the tree. Okay, this is the first one. Next, or here the grown ups people feet. Okay, another one. When all the sky is clear and blue. All right, so you need to describe things. Okay, all right, so the next one can. All right, let's go back to our lesson now. Okay, so there are many kinds of poems. Here are three examples that you can try right away. They are fun to write and fun to read. Try them and you can become a good poet too. So we have here. All right, here, Ken, we have three kinds of poem. Number one is, can I read Mm -hmm. this one? Acrostic. Very good. That is number one. Acrostic. All right. Number two, we have. Mm, sign one. All right. Can you say sinking? Sinking. Very good. Sinking. Oh, this one. You pronounce this word as sinking. Okay. Sinking. Very good. Sinking. And number three, we have. Haiku. Very good. Haiku. So what are the three kinds again? What are the three kinds of poems? We have number one. Mm. Uh, we have three poems. 
Yes, we have three kinds of poems. What are those three kinds? Number one is this poem about. Oh, no, no. Don't look at this one, Ken. Don't look at this, okay? What okay. are the three kinds of poem? You have read three. Number one is acrostic. Number two is. Uh, hmm. This number. Uh, okay. Oh, Very good, sinking. And number three, we have hi, hi, haiku. Very good, haiku. So, Ken, haiku. this is yes, these are very easy. Okay, these are very easy. You can do them, or you can do it later on. Okay, so we have veer an acrostic. Let's try phrase an acrostic. Okay. An acrostic poem uses all the letters of the topic word to describe the topic. For example, we have Hawaii. So what are what is the word that you can find here? Hawaii, right? Like okay, that is Hawaii. And then you are going to write you are going to write a meanings to each letter. Okay. For example, H for hot. A for uh, what is A? Can A stands uh, for uh, yeah. all right? Aloha, very good number or letter W. What is letter W? It's uh, waves, very good. Next, uh, A. Ken, I cannot hear you clearly. What happened? Ken, can you turn off your camera? Can you turn off your camera? Can you, Look. Can you share your screen? All right, yes, okay. Oh, I forgot to share it, sorry, okay. So maybe can you just uh, turn off the camera so that we can hear each other clearly, okay? Okay. All right, so we have the first one, hot, aloha, W for waves, and A for angelfish. How about I? It stands for? Interesting. I, I is for islands. Island. Yes, very good. So that is the meaning of Hawaii, okay? I mean, it's not the real meaning of Hawaii. We just uh, think of a meaning for each word, for each letter, okay? And how to write an acrostic poem? First, you're going to find one topic word that is interesting to you, okay? Okay. Next, write the word vertically up and down. When we say vertically, this is one, right? Yeah. This is vertically. Horizontally, how about horizontally? This is horizontally, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, the next one, number three, this is number one, two, three. Use each letter as the beginning of a new word. For example, Hawaii. What is the first letter of Hawaii? It's H, right? And we use H for hot. Okay, very good. Next, number four. Number four, all right, the new words should tell us something about the topic well, all right should okay the new word should tell us us something about the topic well, all right the new words should tell us something about the topic word okay so what do you think is the meaning of this one hot aloha waves angel fish it talks about an island yeah. right Yes. Yes, or a beach. No, a beach. island is not hot. I, I okay, island is not hot. Oh, yes. maybe in my country islands is also hot, right? Oh. Yes, in my country we can go to the different islands and maybe if it was sunny and it was hot, right? Okay, and Hawaii has many beaches, right? 
Yes. Yes, they have many beaches. Okay, it means maybe it's uh, so hot in their beaches. Okay, next one, they don't have to be rhyming. Okay, so don't need to write rhyming words. Okay, doesn't need to write. Okay, now can I will give you an activity. You are going to uh, write an acoustic also, okay? For example, uh, what do you want to write? Do you want to write your name? No. <laughs> what topic? Like Hawaii? I don't know. You don't know? Maybe we can write, try to write um, can. Okay. Okay. Can. Right, this one. All right, we have K, E, and then N. Oh, this is just three letters, okay? Okay, yeah. Or maybe, yes, can. Okay, I want you to think of um, a word that stands for your name, okay? Okay. Oh. It's, is it hard? Is it hard to think of Kate? Yeah. Oh, Kate. Okay. Kate. <laughs> Kate or Kate? Yes. Oh, Kate. Kate. Okay. Kate. No. K A T. Uh, yeah. Kate. Can you say Kate? Kate. Mm hmm. Wait, Joe. Uh, wait me. Yes, yes. Wait. Can you wait for me? Wait for me. Yes. Mm. Ah, egg, 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 egg. Yes. <laughs> what else? Uh, nice. Nice. All right. Okay, kite, egg, and nice. Very good. So that is an acoustic. Okay, but of course, if you are talking about poem, there should be a topic. Okay, for example, Vietnam. We have Viet. Oh, Vietnam. All right, can we think of a word for these letters? Vietnam. V. Right, maybe we can say violin what? instrument, right? Yeah. Instrument. Exciting. English. 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 Okay, you want English? Next. Uh two. G -R. Two? two. Oh, yes. can you can you think of another word aside from two? 
Can you think of other words aside from two? Hmm. What else? Violin instrument, English. Uh, uh, um, Taurus. Tell, we can say tell, right? Yes. Tell. Nature? No. What, what do you want to put here, and? Mm, I don't know. All right. Violin instrument, English tell. Nature, right? Uh, nature. Around. Around. What about M? Mm, I don't know. Oh, you don't know? All right, maybe around man, okay? Violin instrument, English tell nature around man, okay? All right, that is yeah. how are you going to make an acrostic. First, you're going to write the letters. We have Vietnam here. And then you're going to think of um, a meaning for that letter or a word for that letter, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, so that is an acrostic. Now, we will move on to sinking, all right? Okay. Okay, this is the second second um kind oh. of a poem okay all right okay. so a sinking a sinking poem has five lines when we say lines can it is for example one two three four and five okay, okay. this is what we call lines all right and we also have one noun for the topic this is line one, okay? All right, this is how are you going to write a sinking poem? You are going to write later, so I want you to listen carefully, all right? So in line one, okay, here in line one, you're going to think of noun. This will be your topic. So the yes. topic here is snow, okay? Line two yes. here, this is line two. You're going to think of two adjectives. Okay, two adjectives that describe the topic. So we have cold and silent. Okay, these are adjectives. Number three, line three, this one. You're going to think of action verbs. Okay, that yeah. end in ing. We have falling, dancing, and glittering. And line four, okay, line four. A sentence about the topic word. It is a sentence about snow. This is your topic, right? So yes. tiny, tiny snowflakes kiss my nose. All right, that is your sentence. Oh. And the last one, last one, number five. It is, you're one going to minute. think a new noun that is similar. It is the same with snow. What is the same with snow? We have the word crystals okay okay all right so we have how many lines do we have how many uh, lines i had five lines five lines very good so a noun two adjectives three verbs or verbs and a sentence and another noun okay yes all right so sweet so I'll show you an example, Ken, okay? So can you read the meaning of sinking here? The uh, American sinkhole one is an... Uh, can you say? Environment. Can you say sinking? Sinkhole is an environment by right. the form defined by the numbers of syllables in each line. The first line has two syllables. The second has four, the third, six, the thousand, eight, the five, eight, and we third, two, two, four, six, eight, two. All right, so let's read again some words, okay? Can you say unrhymed? Un unrhymed. Defined. Defined. 
Um, what else? Four. Uh, four? <laughs> yes. The second has four. The second has four. Uh, has, okay, has four syllables, okay? The fourth, eight, and the fifth, two. So these are the syllables. We have two, four, six, eight, and two. Okay, let's find out if that's correct. Okay. Snow. Oh, I think this is, even if you can, you should not follow it. It's okay. All right. So we have another example here of sing can can. Can. Sing can can. Oh, it's like the same. All right. Can can, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have another example can. All right. I want you to read this example. Can. Hello. Dragon. Yes, dragon. Very good. I, we have. I, I read it. Yes, yes. You can read. Dragon. Strong. Virus. All right. Can you see? Right. Fires. All right, can you say fears? Yes. Very good. Like walk, it arrive at a fear, a uh, fear, central. All right, can you say creature? Creator. Very good, that is. All right, I want you to practice reading these words, okay? Practice reading these words all right we have number one fierce number two we have creature creature okay so okay we ha we have here the noun what is the noun we have dragon right what are the adjectives here ken mm. adjectives uh fear a all right strong. very good a strong and fierce very good and we have the verbs what are the fly. verbs in line three eat fly walk and eat oh i say fly it walk all right very good and the next one what is our sentence a dragon is fierce very good and another noun that is similar to dragon we have creature all right so we yes. have five lines one two three four five now ken i want you to make your own example of sing cane okay okay all right just follow this example okay i know you can do it you can talk about a dog right if you don't have any idea dog or different animals or about nature or about people also.
right? Is that your sentence? Yeah, Is that your poem? Yes. Okay, let's try, okay? All right, let's try. So, what is your let's try to make it all right you can say all right oh like, i'm going to copy it already did you do this one all right so the dog is the most intelligent and loyal species i have ever met among animals all right let's make it as a syncane okay you can say oh, okay. dog right dog Yes, dog, the dog. Right. Uh, one word only, can one word only. Now, dog, dog, dog. dog, very good. Oh, what happened? Okay, wait a moment, Ken. All right, we have dog. What else? How about the adjectives? Adjective and Very and, good. And lawyer. All right, good job. Intelligent and loyal. Oh, you can say intelligent and then comma and then loyal. All right. How about the verb? The verb is. Uh, the verb is meet. Meet. You can say walk, right? Bark. Yeah. What else? Uh. Uh. The dog can walk, the dog can bark, and the dog can run. Run. Very good. And um sentence. You can say um you can say um the loyal, right? Loyal of all animals. Okay. okay. And the last one, last one. Another noun. You can say species. Yes. Wow, I think you are very good, Ken, because you can make now a sing cane. This is a poem already, okay? Yes. Wow. This is uh, uh, it's very species, uh, loyal and intelligent. Yes. I have ever met. Yes, that is your own poem now. If they asked you, can you make a poem? And then you can read this one and then, oh, what is that kind of poem? You can say that is a sing cane. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you have your own poem now. Very good. <laughs> okay. All right. We can say this one as example of sing cane. Okay? okay. All right. So good job. Now we will move on. Oh, we have another example here, Ken. Can you read the example? We have the monkey. Monkey. Brown, small, limping. Climbing. Climbing, eating, hanging upside down. Mammal. Very good, mammal. That is all about monkey. So it's very easy to make a sink cane, okay? Now yeah. we will move on to the last one. All right, we have acrostic, we have sing cane, and now we will move on to the last poem. All right, the last one is we have haiku. Can you say haiku? Haiku. Mm -hmm. Can you read? No. Oh, you, do, you can't read it? Yes, I can read it. All right, uh, haiku hai, comes. Hai, haiku come from Japan. Haiku form use an exact number of syllables in each line. Haiku form are often of about nature in one of the four seasons. Okay, very good. 
So again, here in haiku, we have exact number of syllables, okay? For example, doctor, we have two syllables. Teacher, we have also two syllables, right? Yes. Okay, so how to write a haiku poem? In line one, okay, we have three lines. One, two, and three, okay? Yes. So in line one, you're going to use five syllables. Five syllables. So can you read the first line? Summer saying hello. All right. Do you think that is summer sings? Hello. So can you count? We have one, two, three, four, five syllables. Summer sings hello. That is five. Okay. Yes. Next, in line two, we're going to use seven. Seven. Can you read number one? Uh, number two. You say seven syllables, a robin, huh? Throw the grass. The grass. All right, let's read again. A robin hope hops, okay? A robin hops through the grass. So we have the first syllable one. Robin, that is two. Hops through the and then grass so we have a robin hops through the grass that is seven okay okay and last three or line three we are going to have use five syllables again looking for a worm looking for a worm so we have here looking for a worm that is five Yes. So can just remember that when we say haiku, it is five, seven, five. Okay? Yes. Five, seven, five. How about sinking? All right, sinking doesn't need to follow um, um, a structure, okay? But in haiku, we need to have exact, okay? Five, seven, five. All right, now I will have here an example of haiku. All right, it is five seven five structure. Five seven five. All right, example. All right, can you read the example, Ken? This is nature, oh, nature poem about nature, okay? Number one, we have. We. Well, yes, in my hair. In all right, all right, good. Wind gets in my hair. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That is five, okay? Yes. Next. Yeah, animals and eating the all right. big tree is big. All right. There are animals eating. Yeah. Are we sure it's seven? Is this seven? No. There are animals eating. It's seven. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, very good. And the last one. The big tree five. All right. The big tree is big. That is five. So that is haiku. Always remember it is five, seven, five, okay? So now, Ken, that is another one. I have another example here. All right, I close my eyes and try to imagine all the impossible things. So this is five, seven, five also, okay? Okay. All right, so now, Ken, this will be your activity you are going to make another example of haiku okay haiku yes haiku then um a while ago we have uh, made a sin cane right now it is haiku can you do it
this year the internet have problem. I can Why? hear you really. All right. Can I am asking you? Oh, maybe this will be your homework. Okay. All right, because I think it takes time to make uh, this activity. So your homework tomorrow is this one. You're going to make an example of the poem haiku. All right. Okay. I'll send you this example. All right, Ken. Okay, wait a moment. All right, Ken, that will be your homework tomorrow. You are going to make an example of um, haiku, okay? okay? But for now, we are going to continue our lesson here. Okay, Ken, you can have your three minutes, uh, three minute break, okay? Okay. All right, we have here three minutes and then after three minutes, I will. I want you to come back in our class, and we will continue our lesson. All right? Okay. Okay.
Hello, Ken, are you back? Again. Hello. Hello, you're oh, back. Yeah, yo. I, I can what? see you. You can That's see me the, now? The computer has a problem. I now turn on Sky Boy uh, I, I can hear you. You can hear me. All right. That's a great. Okay. As long as you can hear me. So now, Ken, let's move on to the next one here. Okay. So we will move on to comprehension. So let's try if you understood the different kinds of poems. What are the different kinds of poems again? We have three, number one. This poem is often about nature and the seasons. <laughs> All right, so we are going to answer first this one, Ken. This one, which kind of poem did you enjoy the most? What kind of poem would you like to write? Oh, Ken, hello, can you hear me? Yes, I, know right. I, can, I can see you, but I can hear you. How about our screen? Can you see our screen? No. Oh, you can see my screen? Yes. Oh, wait, I'll stop sharing and then I'll try to share again. The duck, I see the duck. <laughs> the duck? <laughs> All right, how about now? Can you see it? Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay, okay. So we're going to answer first this one. Which kind of poem did you enjoy the most? Uh, 
did you enjoy the most? Is it the acrostic, the syncate, or haiku? I don't know. I don't like poem. You don't like all, but you can make one. No. <laughs> you just choose one, okay? Even if you don't like them, just choose one that you enjoy, okay? Which is uh, easier for you to make? Acrostic, haiku, or syncane? I don't know. Hmm. But we've tried to make a while ago, right? All right. Anyway, let's try to write the number for each sentence in the correct circle. So we have here acrostic poem, syncane, and haiku. So you are going to put these sentences inside the boxes or you're going to find where they belong is it in acrostic syncane or haiku okay so number one can you read the first one this poem is often about nato and the seasons okay what is that acrostic syncane syncane syn can you say syncane syncane are you sure it's about nature and seasons? No, it's at, at, uh, acrostic. Acrostic? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's find your answer here. So, that is haiku. Haiku. Okay. Yes, it's haiku. Look, it's often about nature and one of the four seasons. All right, this is haiku. How about number two? Hmm? Can you read number two? Uh, number two. If the topic word is long, the poem will be long. Yes. What is that? Uh, if the topic word is long. For example, this one. Can. If you write Kevin, of course, you're going uh, to write at, many words. At, at Very good. It's acrostic. All right. Number three. The second line of this poem has seven. Type has one. seven. Are you sure? The I second say, line. Say, hi, hi, go, hi, go. Very good. This is Aiko. We have five, seven, five. Very good. How about number four? All right, the fourth line of okay, this poem is me, a sentence. Why am I, I going to uh, write in my book? Yes, okay, you can write. Okay, teacher. Yes, all right. Number four. All right, let's answer number four. The fourth line of this poem is a sentence. For example, dog, right? Very good. This is sinquain. Okay. Oh, is it sinquain or sinquain? Sinquain. It's sinquain. Okay. Sinquain. All right. Number five. So you got the correct answer again. Number five. Can you read number five? Yes. Number five, you can read a topic. Work very clearly. Acrostic. Vertical. Very good. Wow. You know the answer. It's acrostic. And, and again, a second poem. The first and last words of this poem are nouns. Very good. This is Sinkin. Okay, good job, Ken. Mm -hmm. I know that you understood the different, the different um, poems now. Okay, let's move on to number five. What is the main idea of you can be a poet? Do you still remember this? Yes. You can be a poet? Okay, what is the main idea or main topic? Number one, acrostic poems are fun and easy to write. Hi, go, hi, go, hi, go. Haiku poems are usually about nature. Or number three, anyone can write poems if they know how to do it. Yes. 
What do you mean by yes? What is your answer? One, uh, two, or three? Three. I think three. Very good. Yes. Very good. It's number three. Anyone can write poems if they know how to do it, just like you. You said a while ago that you don't know how to write poem, but after learning how to do it, you already know how to make a poem, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Very good. Are you happy that you know how to make a poem now? No. Uh, <laughs> I still know. Uh, I'm very happy because you know how to make your own uh, own poem now. Uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> You're very sad. Okay. So now, can we will move on our lesson here in letter C? Okay. All right, in letter C, we still have uh, uh, more time. Let's just finish letter C, okay? okay? So we have here words in context. We're going to write the correct word in each sentence. Number one, exact, describe, observe, and imagine. So you are going to put the words in the blank, okay? Okay. All right, I'll give you two minutes to read. Finish, it. finish already? You're finished already? Yes. Are you sure? No. Uh, no? <laughs> okay, wait more. All right, I'll give you time. And then tell me if you're ready. No can. All right. Yeah, are you finished now? No, I really need to go to the toilet. Okay. Okay, number one, describe. Describe. All right. So, kind of read the um whole sentence here. When you describe something, you look at it carefully. I uh, I I look and I answer. To, uh, look. Uh, I I really go to tell it, so I not had time, and now I go to make wow. it. Wow. <laughs> So you can answer it correctly. Very good. So you got the correct answer in number one. How about number two? When you buy something, you can say it. My. My? You can see it in your mind. Yeah, in your okay. Mind. Very good. Can you say imagine? Uh, watch me every. Uh. The the upper size time right now is ten to three in the morning. What is that? Exact or yeah. observe? Observe. Observe. 
Oh, it's sad. It's sad. Very it's good. That is exact. Okay, exact. The exact time right now is then three in the morning. How about he now? Nah, right now, Ken, what is the exact time right now? Uh, is eight. Uh, um, uh, nine quarter for a uh, five. Good. How about number four? What is your answer here? Uh, opposite. Opposite? Can you yes. say observe? Observe. Very good. When you observe something, you explain how it looks, sounds, and feels. Very good, Ken. You got a perfect score uh, again. Why? What me? I go to write. Uh, I go to write answer. I yes. Answer. Yes. All right. Very good. Can you write number one? It is um describe. Okay. This is number one. Describe. Number two, we have imagine. Number three, we have exact. And number four, we have observe, okay? Yes. Wait. Okay, finish. Yeah. All right, very good, Ken. So now let's go on to the next one, all right? Oh, we're going to sing along, okay? Let's sing first. Uh, uh, last last thing uh, we cancel the start uh, the class. Yes, let's just okay. sing and then we finish the class. All right. Okay. Page sixty one, grammar in use. D, listen and sing along. I was dreaming. I was dreaming of the ocean when the rain came down. I was walking to the circus when I met a funny clown. Talking for my seniors, when I found you. You're sharing your screen. Swimming off the ocean when the rain came down. I was walking to the circus when I met the funny clown. Researching for my sack. I for my All right. So now, Ken, please don't forget to do your homework tomorrow, okay? What was our homework again? I told you to make an example of the poem haiku, okay? All right, Ken? Ken. What are you doing right now? Ken. All right. Ken, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? That is a Vietnamese song. <laughs>